Hey YouTube, this is the second part, second and final part of the tutorial on how to put planets in the sky. In this part we'll be covering the action of inserting more planets into our scene and enhancing the image. So let's get started. So, so far we have um, added a Saturn-like planet, um, which goes together really nice. So what we want to do now is open up the earth image I gave you a link to in our last tutorial so um, I'm just gonna go and grab mine and carry on from there go from there yeah. okay um, shouldn't be far yep here it is so once you've got it open you just want to drag and drop it into the tab and then into the document. So close that tab, call down control and press T and you just want to just size that, just make it as big as the canvas and then you can go from there or, or you can just hold down shift and alt and drag this handle inwards until you're happy with your size and once you're once you are you can then um, press enter hold down control and press T yet again um, put a minus in the width press enter twice and make the blend mode linear dodge or add if you want um, just put it in the corner somewhere here you can rotate it um, And yeah, so what you can do now is you can grab your background here, your uh, beach scene, get your magic wand tool, uh, select the um, trees, get your um, planet layer, your earth and moon, press delete. Um, so once you've done that, you can now see that it's deleted every, th every part of that image that was selected here so I mean yeah so selected here so that's what that's what it does so just to make it look more accurate I'm gonna um, I'm gonna feather it out so select modify feather um, I'll use five for now and observe the result and I'm very much happy with that so I'm gonna keep it like that and yeah there's your there's your scene you can then um, make a new layer, fill it with black, make the blend mode linear dodge, go filter noise, add noise, uh, make the amount about around 20, the distribution Gaussian, and check the box monochromatic, and click OK. Um, once you've done that, you hold the control and press L to bring up the levels. Um, you can now um, drag the black slider right. So you want a, a rough amount of stars, so quite a small amount of stars, and it'll keep switching back. So just keep doing that. To do for now, just keep doing it until you've got the result you're looking for. And I've got that result, so I'm now going to do the same as I did for that plant there. So select these trees, select this layer, and press delete. Um, and to be even more accurate, again, I'm going to feather it out. Press delete. Uh, make sure you select this layer. And there you go. What you can do now is you can um, get your razor tool, um, make the size around 400 and, oh no, uh, yeah, 450. You can just erase the parts you don't want to be shown within the image. So I just want it to be like kind of up there, like right in the sky. Like that. And you can now 
arrays where it is in the planet. And there you go. There you have your star field. So if you zoom in, you can easily see that. It's a pretty nice effect. Um, probably the most commonly used effect for um, uh, to make it possible, make a star field possible. Or yeah, you know. So once you've got that, you can then go adjustments. Um, you can go curves. Just drag this down a little bit. Drag this up a bit. So that just easily increases the contrast. You can then go red. Increase or decrease the red. But I'm going to decrease it. You can then go green. So that darkens it a bit. Lightens it up. I quite like that. So I'm going to keep it like that. Um, and yeah. So I'm going to drop the blue as well. So that will show everything you've done. Um, and there you go, you can go black, back, sorry, um, you can go brightness and contrast, um, you can bring down the brightness a bit, bring up the contrast, go back again, give a bit of colour balance, again, it's looking really nice so far, pretty happy with that, I mean that's looking a bit funny, but, um, Tell you what you can do. I actually made a new group there, sorry. Uh, just select this mask here. You can get the razor tool and you can erase where you don't want it. And you can do the same here. Raise where you don't want it. Maybe it might just be this the curves here. It's definitely the curves. It's just making those look the, the trees look a bit green. I mean well, you know, trees most trees are green, but you know. As a silhouette, it looks a bit weird, but there you go. Um, so you've enhanced the image. Um, what you want to do now is you want to add a vignette, um, which looks brilliant. Um, so once to get your grab your grain tool over here in the tool um, bar, uh, select a black to transparent, a radial, and change that to reverse or check reverse on that. Um, if you haven't got this plugin already, um, I'll show you how to do this. I'll show you. How, I'll show you the manual way. So, Control R to bring up the ruler. Um, drag, uh, click here, click and drag down until it snaps in the middle, like that, and do the same here. There you go. Otherwise, you can just go guide guide, which is the add-on I downloaded, and you can click find middle. And it will instantly do that. So you can then click these here to minimize that. Control R, and then you want to hold on Shift in the middle there, drag down, click and drag down, as well as holding Shift, let go, press V, hide the guides, um, hold on Control and press T, Alt and Mouse wheel, back to zoom out. And you can just hold down shift and alt and the left mouse button and drag out whoops like that. And that's a really nice effect there. So there you go, there you have your planets in. There you have your planets in the sky. So remember to like, comment and subscribe. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. In our next episode I'll will I should be teaching you how to make the text. And a pretty neat effect I used in my recent speed up. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Look out for the next tutorial, next video, you know. Peace.